when I hear him <laughs> rap over BBL Drizzy, yep, after go. after Kendrick Lamar vividly said, when you see Sexy Red, I believe you see two bad bitches. I walked right into the door. Right. When you are standing next to Sexy Red, I believe you see two, two bad, bad bitches. bitches. <laughs> no, like, that says so much without saying anything. Mm-hmm. <sighs> And like you said, the trap door. Drake fell into the trap because you think you mm-hmm. killing it. You mm-hmm. think that you can fool us. Mm-hmm. That's my problem with mm-hmm. this move. So I'll play the song and then please let's get into it. Yo, you really my guy, bro. You my guy. You know that? We on the same... Come on, man. I read your notes. That's Hip hop. I'm feeling a little Hip-hop. left out. I'm sorry, Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> he does make everything. <laughs> what did he say on that? It sounds good. What did he say? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, <laughs> yeah, you gonna dim you it out now, everything. right? Yeah, Look, yeah, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Drake has to know that the first release out of the battle cannot can't, be. Can't be. It, it, I, he, did did we have to tell him that? He doesn't know. No, but he has to know. But that's what I'm saying. He's a character. He, he has to he know. He doesn't take this part of it seriously. He, he did yeah. this before where he like pretends he's okay. Like yeah, he, yeah, yeah, like he's not upset. I get a yeah. lot of that because it's like, all right, cool. So you. You're trying to double. I had to have someone break down. <laughs> no real shit. I had to have someone really break down the win in him getting on BBL Drizzy, because I didn't understand it. They were like, "Yo, it was that, that's a dub for him. That was clever. That was clever." Mm-hmm. And I swear, I wasn't on no hating shit. I really was just trying to understand it. I'm like, <laughs> "But y'all, he told him to shut his ass up and make some drums, and then he got on the same drums." Oh, so y'all, under, like, break it down for me. And they were telling me like, sometimes if you can't beat him, you gotta <laughs> join him. And I said, oh. <laughs> like, you don't you didn't agree. Like, I, said, I said, okay. This reminded me of, you guys know the meme where it's like, someone is like crying on the inside, but then there's like a happy face over it. Yeah, That's what it yeah, felt yeah. like to me. He's that, like, he's like, ha see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, down, I'm fine. I'm down. And then he's like crying. I've heard BBL Drizzy on Everybody's Real. I've heard it on Instagram. He, you heard it on this pod. I've heard, you, we, we rapped on it. Oh shit. What's the splits looking like? I don't know. We, we we did a verse on that. I'll yeah. leave it up to you. DM you. Well, all right. DM me, and we're gonna figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> well, man. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. Like, I hope. Aren't you guys like? I just. I hope Drake is okay, though. Like, we're really. Everyone yeah. is just. There's just so much happening. All to he him. gotta like, do is drop a controller part two. That's what. That's what he's doing. Right. He's literally working that, on that right now. That, that should have came his, first. Yeah. That should have came first. He's yeah. doing his best, and what he also needs to do, first. he needs to never like. He needs to stop rapping. I think he should just <laughs> turn into a hybrid singer, man. Like the rap, like Let's I don't talk no, for, about it. I don't think that he takes rap serious. I don't. Okay, I don't agree because, like, although yes, there are some reference tracks to uh, tracks like Mob Ties. He has a very, very, very extensive catalog, and he did write a lot of it where he's rapping. And let's not forget how amazing of a rapper he is. Exactly. No, he can rap well. I think his ability is amazing, phenomenal. I think. But you don't want any of that anymore. His ability to rap is top tier, and that's one of the reasons why I got on this podcast and I said something that a lot of people didn't agree with, Mm -hmm. which is he makes things better. Is because his delivery Mm -hmm. is one of. I don't fucking know who you want to put as the best deliverers of lyrics and rap. Like he's there. You got a rock him delivery, which is why he could. He take, has like something to him. Yeah, yeah like Rock King came through, changed it. Then Hov started rapping like that. Big Daddy Kane yes. came through. They changed it. I he it. his delivery, his performance on songs is just so fucking. And maybe I'm, I'm about to sound like I'm glazing, but like what? it's it's just better. That's just what it is. His delivery. But I think to be the best rapper. Legit, yeah. to be the best rapper, there's a certain criteria that I don't think he holds in high regard. Mm-hmm. Because if he did, he would never find himself in this situation. Yeah. I always go back mm-hmm. to Multiple Jadakiss. times. And maybe it's New York, maybe it's my New York mm-hmm. bias. But for me, I would literally lose faith in humanity <laughs> if I found out that Jadakiss ever had a single verse penned for him. You see, you see that? Damn. I know he never has. I know. So I'm not putting that on Jada. Mm-hmm. We love Jada. We respect Jada. Again, I think he is the bar. And again, this could be my bias or it could just be my respect for who he is as an MC. But the barometer for me is Jadakiss. He has never had anybody pen a verse for him. He don't even, he don't even come off as a type hey. to have that. Yeah. Hey, and not- no, keep going. No, you're right. No, you're right. No, and if he did, I think it would change my perception of the art. For sure. Of the fucking genre. Mm-hmm. 
Now, because that's what it's about. What kind of like what type of music were you introduced to with Jada Kiss? Right, it was a little gritty. Right, oh, for sure. The right. locks, the I locks to the locks. You were accustomed to receiving that from them, right? Yep. I don't know when I said it, but I said it on one time on this on this on this podcast. This is why I would prefer if he turned into an R and B artist. It has nothing to do with his rap shit. He's a great rapper, but when I go back to my Drake phase, nigga, it's the shit where we singing. Yeah. Because <laughs> again, when I was introduced to Drake. Take care, like just that like album. Marvin, Marvin's room, just Marvin's room, like just, that type. It's the essence of that yeah, music, yeah, yeah. and then what, like when I go to his albums now, I always gravitate to the R and B joints, like the jaded. And why yeah, is that? Yeah. Because respectfully, bro, I don't believe you on that gangster shit. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. I believe niggas like Twenty One on that gangster shit. I believe niggas like Jada on that gangster shit. When certain people get on gangster shit, I'm rocking. I want to hear that from them because I believe it. I think that's really what it was. I'm like, bro, I never really, oh, you getting hard and shit. I'm like, bro, you do a phenomenal job with this other shit. Just holding you going home? Hmm. Nah, Nick, nah. You love that shit. I love that that's shit. That's your shit. That's my shit. <laughs> that's the one you Just reference. Just hold home, going, going home. home. You love going that shit. Home. I think it's because like- Wow, that was, like, that's a record. The things that wow. he talks about in his R&B-ish songs yeah. is one thing, like mm-hmm. one version of him. And then when he raps the gangster shit, it's like, it conflicts. Because, like, on the R&B songs, he'll rap about, like, Should I can relate gro- to? growing up in, like, the summer and, like, being at this mansion, da 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 like, when he was in high school. Like, stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. And then when he raps, it's, like, different. So you're like, wait, so now I don't believe you. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of the time stand records, he rapped really well on, but he's getting his shit off. Mm-hmm. He reflects on his childhood, which is super dope and all. But when you getting at women, oh, it's f- way more flyer. Mm-hmm. Like, way, way, way more flyer. But... <sighs> Let's see, man. Because oh, the first release out should have been something where it couldn't be denied. Anything but what was done. <laughs> just, Anything just, but just this. Just something undeniable. Like the Sexy Red song, right? Like I'm sure there are people that really enjoy Drake's verse. But I know there's people that it's kind of hard for them because it may be the Sexy Red part. 